Alright guys, I'm back with another um, DVD Blu-ray update. Um, these are all pretty much horror titles. So I'm just going to get right into it. Alright, my first pickup is Prison. This is the, uh, the Chelp Factory release. I used to own this uh, on DVD back in the day. Um, and then just picked this up last week. I really wanted to get the, um, the, the double feature two-pack of... Uh, Terror Vision and the Video Dead, but uh, they were all sold out. Um, I'll probably take a look next week and see if they have any in stock. All right, I took the um, the Blu-ray case out of the uh, slip cover, so it'll be easier to uh, maneuver. I'm gonna move this over here, and of course I switched over the artwork. I do love on the back how they um, variate, do variations of the back artwork so it's never the same and this one stars Viggo Mortensen I actually saw this in the theater back in 1988 when it uh, first came out this was uh, originally an Empire Pictures release I'll open it up well, the artwork is the same I don't even bother switching it around All right. Next we have Silent Hill Revelation and the main reason I picked this one up is because I actually I actually liked the first movie although now that I got this one I kind of wish I'd waited and bought this one used this one's okay I just didn't like it as much as the first movie I think uh, the main problem I have with it was I didn't keep the uh, the original girl from the first movie who has now kind of built up a kind of like a career in horror as well. Like she was also in um, Case 39 and um, Cabin in the Woods. And I don't know. And then they pretty much got like a, they have like a CGI version of her in the movie. And then uh, some of the other actors that were in the original have like cameos in this one. Like Sean Bean has a, a reduced role. And uh, Deborah Carr Unger has uh, one scene in it. And then the original actress that played the mom has like a scene in it as well. There we go. This is a DVD Blu-ray Blu combo. Although the artwork is on the same in each disc, which is kind of goofy. Alright. Oops, moving that over. Okay, next up is a, is a, a release that I wish I didn't get. And that's... Uh, the Amateur Porn Star Killer Trilogy in 3D, no less. Um, the main reason why I picked this up is because I was surprised to see it over at Cinema One. So I grabbed it right away. And I was like, you know, I'd give it. I heard of the, the, these movies before and I figured I'd give them a shot. But the main problem I have with them, this release, is uh, that there's no 2D option to watch the movies. And the 3D is that really piss poor old style with the glasses with the red and the and the blue as you can see here and of course they only give you one in the set which is kind of dumb I mean if you're going to watch this with like buddies they should have gave you at least two sets of glasses except for one um, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to get around to ever watching these I I did watch some of the um, special features there's like a um, series of short films by the director and the first um, short film was all right but other than that I got wasted money on this one next we have the last house on the left remake I've heard good things about this movie and I do have the original the only problem I'm gonna think I'm gonna have with it is um, this guy right here his name is uh, Jarrett uh, see here he had top billing uh, Garrett Dillahunt he's got the, uh, the the role of Krug in, in this one but he's also uh, on a new uh, well it's not a new TV show it's a Fox TV show called uh, Raising Hope which is a comedy so I don't know if I'm gonna take to see him as uh, being a bad guy because he's he's kind of funny on that show he was also a Terminator in uh, Sarah, Connor, Sarah Connor Chronicles thing as well. But I'll probably
probably watch this one tonight. Alright. Next, we have Pulse. This is, um, this isn't the one that was a remake of, uh, Chiaro. This is a 1988 movie, and it stars Joey Lowens. I guess he was a kid back then. And I guess this is, like, some evil electricity kind of, uh, gets inside, uh, the house. And I've only seen the ending of this on, uh, on the old Scream Network. I think they played it once. I figured I'd like to own this one in my collection, like, 80s cheese horror. You can see there the electricity striking the house. Such a weird idea for a movie. Okay, next up, we have Prime Evil. I just picked this one up today. I went to the pawn shop and was uh, looking for uh, out of print DVDs and came across this. I don't think it's out of print. I didn't research it or anything. I guess it's about satanic monks that need to sacrifice girls for some reason. The reviews on IMDb are pretty poor for this one. Side there. This was directed by uh, Roberta Finley. I guess she directed Snuff and The Oracle or something like that. She made a lot of sleazy films back in the day. Alright, and last up. I'm really excited to get this because I'm a big fan of the show. And it's the fourth season of Dexter. Um, this I also got today at the pawn shop. Now normally with their um, box sets, TV box sets, they charge $10. But um, this one is missing the slip cover. So, and they had it mixed in with the regular DVD. So I was thinking, you know what, let me see how much I can. I wasn't going to tell them that it was a, a TV box set. You know, they just look at it as being DVD, single DVDs. See, there's the... Her first set. Well, this is first two discs, and then the third and the fourth. I'm really looking forward to uh, watching the uh, eighth season in June. I guess they're doing it early this year. Of course, I don't think it's really much to see on the inside. Alright guys, that's my update. Um, thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.